Hello everybody, this is Devlog01 for Agent API, a new, powerful, robust AI SDK for Go. And uh, what I want to show off this week is something that I knew was going to be really challenging and was going to be kind of, you know, one of the more difficult things to actually implement and get figured out for the agents inside of the SDK. And that's how to handle streaming responses. And that's typically how these LLM providers function is they have sort of a bunch of deltas that they send you and then maybe send you the final message, but they sort of expect you to kind of stitch together the whole thing. And that's kind of the chat GPT experience where you see it just spitting out all the content, all the text as it goes. So in this video, I wanna show off how I did that, how I went super low level to actually implement that in Go using channels and selects and a bunch of that stuff. Um, and we'll we'll go super deep into it and talk about how you can utilize this today. So always better to show than tell. Let's actually look at what one of those streaming responses look like. So I'm just gonna go run examples. We'll use the OpenAI one and we want basic streaming agent. And this tees up an agent, asks it a question, and then here we see the streaming response. And that's just the raw streaming response from the Go channels that's pulling off of the OpenAI API. So we can see it streamed back a bunch of deltas. I asked it, why is the sky blue? And it, it sent a bunch of that back. Under the hood, all that's happening is we are calling run stream on the agent that we've provisioned. We're using OpenAI's provider to actually bootstrap that with GPT-4.0. And under the hood here, all we're doing is we're calling agent uh, run stream with the context, uh, with the input, why is the sky blue? And then we're just pulling all of those messages off of the Delta channel, which for an end consumer, which really is like <laughs> the whole point of this, uh, for you actually doing this and implementing agents, it's very stupid simple, like about as simple as you could get just pulling all those messages off of the channel using a range for loop. So if I actually push into run stream here, what we'll look at here, let me just grab the return stuff, is uh, how it actually returns, uh, what it actually returns. So it returns a channel of run aggregators, and that's really like the end messages. That's kind of like the aggregated deltas and all the stuff that, you know, you could pull off of that channel to just get the the resulting messages without actually streaming in the deltas. Um, it returns a channel of strings, and those are the actual deltas as they come in, and then a channel of errors, uh, which you can pull off of and act off of asynchronously. Now, before we go too deep, let me sort of explain the sort of philosophy around Agent API. So there's the end user, that's you or me, building agents. So we're gonna be building agents using this SDK for Agent API. These agents are going to use a bunch of the core libraries. The core libraries in Agent API slash core are really what define how agents work. That's where this run stream is defined, um, but also define a bunch of interfaces sort of as a flat plane, a flat plane that all the other providers, all the other LLM providers can sort of um, access and implement and then give sort of that plug and play capability across any of these LLM providers. So we have core, we have a bunch of these providers. This could be OpenAI, this could be Olama, this could be Anthropic, this is Gemini. A bunch of these have a rough first implementation, um, but implementing those interfaces in core enable the agent to then call into just a generic core generate function or something that has been implemented by one of these that they've plugged in and it just hashtag works. And that's what's going on here with run stream in the core library. The run stream is going to call this send message stream. And send message stream is similar where it returns a channel of messages, the deltas from the providers, the error channels, all that stuff. Um, stitches together the tool slices, gets us the generate options, which again is another generic sort of type um, that can be passed into the implemented providers. And then we call the agent provider uh, dot generate stream. If I push into that, we'll notice that that is just part of the provider interface. So that's really that flat provider interface that all these other LLM you know, foundational companies or um, APIs could go and implement. And generate stream, specifically for our example here, was implemented in the OpenAI provider. So pushing into that, pushing into the OpenAI provider, we can go down, way down here, let's just find generate, uh, and we want generate stream here. This is an implementation of that that can get called into 
to then actually return back the deltas, the messages, et cetera, et cetera. So it's kind of, I like to think about it like three layers of abstraction. There's the agent that's gonna be doing the streaming back. And that's sort of that very nice interface where you just have the four range loop. Then there's the core libraries, which define sort of how a bunch of that works um, is really the most important cornerstone around defining how providers can work with different things inside of agent API. And then the actual providers abstraction, which is like the lowest level actually calling out into these APIs to then return back streams of deltas and messages and all this stuff. So inside of generate stream, we have these three channels that get made, the message channel, the delta channel, and the error channel. And then we call the client, which is gonna be the OpenAI specific client in this case. And we actually return back those things inside of those channels. So this is more or less classic uh, Go channel handling where you know we're getting some stuff, we're pushing it, into the next channel and then consuming that on the consumer end. All right, so are you following me? We're way down in the stack. We've implemented a bunch of this stuff inside of the OpenAI provider. If we pop back up, back up into the actual core libraries, back to run stream, right here where we actually called the generate stream, that's returning back to us a bunch of those channels and provider specific sort of things. And then inside of the for loop, the kind of continuous agentic for loop, we can continuously consume those messages, aggregate them, populate them back up to the end user, the consumer, the agent itself, and then be able to do things like tool calling or longer thought processes or even more complicated things with you know multiple agents or swarm of agents. You get the idea. So then these channels from the provider, uh, we use these in another for loop to actually pull off the messages and send those back up to the consumers, pull off the deltas, pull off of the errors and send those back up to the consumer. And you'll notice I'm doing something here where pulling off of those channels is optional and we won't block on, on uh, trying to send errors or messages or aggregations into those consumer channels, um, since end users may not be actually consuming them. In our example here, I was only consuming the Delta channel to give that sort of chat-like experience. Then finally, we finish it all up by you know doing some aggregation stuff, checking if we actually need to call some tools, the maximum number of steps that have been configured, so on and so forth. So then popping way back out, <laughs> all the way back out to the agent, we've gone deep, we've gone deep into the implementation layer, all the way down to OpenAI, into that provider, popped way back out into where we actually consume those channels here from RunStream. And in this case, we're only actually grabbing the Delta channel, which gives us the capability to do a very simple four range loop from the Deltas um, and actually just do a quick print to give us that chat-like experience um, from this simple Go binary. And to land the plane, let's just run that again so that we can see that whole full circle where it's streaming us back those deltas as we expect. Links for these are in the description. It's open source. Please go check it out. Give it a star. Um, give it a try. It's in a very rough state right now. This is, again, devlog01. So uh, we're moving along on a bunch of different stuff, which I'm very, very excited about. So let me know your thoughts. Check it out. Give it a star. And I will catch you all in the next one. All right. Peace. Bye.